before we dig a little deeper into the details of risk-based quality management, I think we first need to define what is a risk-based approach to a clinical trial. And basically we have to differentiate between two aspects here or two ways of looking at the risks. One is the prospective approach and the other is more the reflective approach. How do you deal with risks? Do you plan ahead? Prevent problems before they appear? Or do you deal with risks as they present themselves? A common risk-based tool that is predictive is a car dashboard with a navigation system. Traveling, for example, is nothing else than a series of decisions based on calculated risks. You can just decide to get in your car, start the engine, and go. Or you can decide to surround yourself with smart tools that plan and control your route intelligently and predict your way ahead. In fact, the navigation system in this example helps you risk manage your journey prospectively. You take a risk-based approach to traveling by choosing to make use of it. In the past, I must admit that um, I frequently used the reflective approach, which mean, means that, you know, looking at the clinical trial data, noticed something that was not going well, and then, you know, trying to fix the problem, which usually happened too late. The prospective approach is the much better way of looking at the data and actually preventing things from happening. So um, the best approach is probably to start already at the protocol level, sit down with the various functions and uh, discuss the potential risk of a clinical trial before it even started. The ICH-GCP approach calls for distinct quality management activities that can be optimized through a risk-based approach. In Section 5, the guideline lists the following activities. Identify critical processes and data. Identify risks to critical trial processes and data. Evaluate risks. Control risks. Communicate risks. Review risks. And report risks. To improve or optimize effectiveness and efficiency, a risk-based strategy can result in varied and combined monitoring methods. For example, the combination of on-site and centralized monitoring. 